A huge shout out to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to get 70% off a three year plan, all the links will be in the top line of the description. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex and welcome to TechFlow. More specifically, welcome to episode three of Networking This House. Now, if you're watching this episode and you haven't watched part one or part two, there's a card up there or links in the description. You need to go and watch those episodes, otherwise this will not make sense. In those episodes, we did loads of stuff like install some security cameras and different bits and bobs, access points around the house, a server rack. Now we need to tidy it all up and sort out the point-to-point -point link down the end of the garden. So there's Wi-Fi down there and CCTV. This episode's gonna be interesting, so follow me. So before we get into this episode, I think it is important to touch base about number one, what we're going to do, and number two, the goals that we set out to achieve in this entire series. But first we'll hit off what we're gonna install in today's episode. It's all sort of laid out nicely here. We've got a couple of cameras from Ubiquiti. This is the G4 Pro. It has an awesome ring around here, a blue ring that goes round and circles round when it detects motion. We've got the G3 camera. This is the same as the camera we installed in episode one except it doesn't have certain pro features like optical zoom. This is a wireless camera, which is actually going to replace a Logitech camera that's on this console table. And then this is an awesome access point, the Nano HD, that we're going to install in the master bedroom. So, welcome back to the new server cabinet in the cupboard. It is a mess right now, I know. This is gonna look so much cleaner by the time episode three, this one, closes out. Now, I've drawn up the schematic on here. This has all of the ports as to where they all go from the patch panel that we installed in episode one. We need to go and install another access point and a couple of other cameras for this episode. And luckily enough, I've already ran a couple of cables for us to do that. <laughs> Okay, so if I bring up this iPad here and open up the Unify Network app, as you can see, the Nano HD is pending adoption there. So I'm gonna click Adopt and Upgrade. This is the access point that is simply just behind there in this cupboard. You can't even see it and it's gonna provide Wi-Fi for all of this end of the house. So with Wi-Fi now pretty much all covered, uh, I need to run this cable over to that corner of the loft for the camera, the next camera that I'm going to install. We didn't show us running the cables last time just because it is running cables, cables is just really, really, really boring, but this is me running the cable just in case you want a serious calcix ethernet cable. Okay, so running cables is actually the bane of my existence. I absolutely hate it. If I was doing uh, a job for an external client, I would get electricians to run cables, then I would simply just come uh, and install the gear. But because this is a family home, I'm having to do a little bit of everything. <laughs> Look at that. These things are like full metal jacket, FMJ. Like, these are metal cameras. Like, they are heavy. This is very, very heavy. Okay, so guys, G4 Pro mounted externally looking into the garden. I've gone ahead and patched in the G4 Pro over here and then gone ahead and tidied the rest of this rack up. So we have our patch panel here and then we have our switch underneath. It's quite a small little rack. We've got our router or router here. We've got our PDU up here at the top. Then cloud key, skybox and a Sonos. It all manages to fit in here. And then we've also got our schematic as to where all of the ports go. So now what we've got to go and do is adopt our G4 Pro camera to the system. We still chase dead president, 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 president. Okay, brilliant, there we go. That is the G4 Pro. You can see just absolutely pin sharp for a security camera. This is uh, this is top end stuff. I'm super, super happy. Okay, so our three cameras, the G3 Pro, the G4, and the Flex here in the kitchen all installed. I'm gonna walk around the house and do some Wi-Fi tests right now. So I'm gonna open up speed test. This house gets 50 meg with QoS enabled. So it should get around 44 megabits a second. And perfect. We can literally uh, do it in every single room and just go perfect. 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 
perfect. I'm literally in a stone bathroom at the end of the house, like the furthest end of the house, and I've still got full 5G coverage. Like, I don't need to do any more tests. So guys, before we close out today, I want to say a massive shout out to NordVPN for sponsoring today's episode. A VPN is absolutely great for protecting your privacy online. And one of the main reasons I use Nord is because they use AES 256-bit encryption, which is twice as secure as most other VPNs out there. I know a VPN can sound a little bit scary or might be, you know, a little bit hard to set up. It really isn't, but even if you are struggling, Nord have got, well, 24-7, 365 support just there all the time so you can fire them any questions. And yes, for all you lovely TechFlow viewers out there, we've got a 70% off code. That's off a three-year plan and that'll be in the top line of the description. Okay, so guys, I'm going to wrap up episode three here. It's been awesome to finally get the server cabinet looking awesome like that thing looks so 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 cool with all the gear inside of it with the schematic it's all really organized it's just nice to have a nice network in the house so in uh, episode four we're going to put this g3 camera up at the other end of our point to point link down into the, the outhouse and then we've also got this little wireless unified camera to install in the hallway because there's no ethernet down in the hallway of the house but i'm so happy with this today my name's been alex this has been TechFlow, and we'll see you in the next one we still chase dead presidents, presidents, presidents.